What's poppin' YouTube? Uh, let me first pop off of darkness. It got dark out of nowhere. I just did a video like two seconds ago, and it just got pissed black out of nowhere. My phone just went off, so I can't find it, so I'm not going to worry about it or swipe it or look for it. But anyway, um, I was asked this question like, I was it like two months ago, two, three months ago. Uh, I, I, I know it, it was a while back. Um, I was asked, do I really put my Wii U? Is the Wii U worth the money? And the Wii U actually a good console? And the other question was, do I believe that the Wii U is considered to be the current gen console? I mean, as when I say current gen, you gotta say current now because next gen is now over. Your next gen ain't gonna be till next, like, what, five, six years? Now the PS4, Xbox One is out, that's now your current gen. And 360, PS3 is now your, you know, well, 360 and PS3 is now your last gen. So, do I believe that this is the current, do I believe the Wii U is the current gen? Yes. Why, why wouldn't it be? I'm not putting the Wii U in the category of 360 and the PS3. It The, the PS3, the 360, and the Wii, those are the consoles that came out with each other and now each other. The Wii just had, they had a whole year leap over the PS4 and Xbox One. Did they capitalize on, on that leap? No. I'm going to be realistic. They did not capitalize on that leap. They did nothing particular with that leap. They didn't really push any good games like that with that leap. Um, like a lot of people have been saying, a lot of people have been feeling that, um, that Nintendo lately has been a slow starter. Like a lot of people felt like the 3DS was a very slow move and they finally got their their ladies going and they had a good library for their 3ds so honestly i think with the 3ds success and they are known to have good first person games and they don't really care for uh third party support that they're going to get their shit together by hopefully next year and and put out some good games because it's still got good games for next year coming out that, that I'm, I'm definitely looking forward I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to donkey kong they're supposed to come out in december and now i got then i got pushed to february I'm looking forward to uh, Mario Kart, and I'm also looking forward looking forward to um, Super Smash Bros. So I got three games that I'm already looking forward to that's coming to the Wii U in 2014. So that's the, that's my thing. But also to always have always ask what games do you have for the Wii U, what good games you have for the Wii U, and what are like your top games you prefer or you or your, your preference is for the Wii U. So I'm just gonna show. All the games I have. I ain't gonna take the names. Hope you can see the case because, like I said, it's a little dark. It got dark out of nowhere. Like my room is well fucking lit, but the camera that made it seem like it's dark. And I don't, I don't, it is what it is. So let's go here. I'm gonna go from what I got from what I got first to what I got now. So I'm gonna go from old to new and go from there. Nintendo Land came with the console. Mario, first game I brought. Oh, yeah, I bought Mario Land first. Everybody know that I got fucking spot to make Spider Man for the Wii. It was alright. Wasn't wasn't all that. Assassin's Creed. Uh, it was alright. Wasn't all that. Um, I'm thinking about buying Assassin's Creed Four for the Wii U. Um, Need for Speed Most Wanted Guild. Oh, this was my game here. I love the game with the game pad where you can change your cards on the fly. But the shit, I was hoping and wishing that Need for Speed come out for the Need for Speed Rivals come out for the Wii U. But you know how EA is fucking bastards. Fuck them. Anyway, Resident Evil. Um, didn't care for it. Um, didn't even beat this shit yet. I just don't care for it. I, I, I just feel like this is a polished shit game, bullshit game, or whatever. But, but killing me is a bad dialogue. Zombie came out on launch day. Game's horrible. It's a this this is a pass here. That horrible. Tekken, you know, I got it for the for the 360. Why not get it for the goddamn Wii? Yo, I'm gonna play it online too. I haven't did that yet. Also, I tried to be flashy with my shit and dropped it. Anyway, Batman Arkham. Arkham City Armor Edition, pretty much same as the 360 PS3. Just that you got a little more enhancement. Some of the shit that's on um, Arkham Origins came from this. So yeah, and supposedly Montreal was the same people that made Arkham Origins and made this. Like Rocksteady didn't make this version for the Wii. This was actually Montreal. Um, Montreal pretty much they just copy and paste from what the fuck they already had from um, Rocksteady already made. So that's what that is. Oh, here's my game right here. Love this game. This game's my shit. Oh, I, I, I just like playing this. Batman Legos. No, no, say it. This good ass game. Here's a game that I brought and I barely played. Have not had time to play. I ain't have a lot of people come over and even play the Wii in the longest time, which is Game of Wario. I really have not yet played this. I might actually have to do a video for this and do some actual shit because, literally, I have not yet 
play this. So I can't I can't even say if it's good or bad. Like I only I think I only did like two mini like too many games. And the two the one I played I didn't care for. I know one of many games I thought was alright. So I might have to uh sit back one day, play the game and do some gameplay of it so I can actually really get a feel for the game. Cause like I said, I barely played this game. I'm not gonna lie, like like I've had this game for like damn like two, three months now and I barely played it. And that, and that, and that's and that's saying that's saying something. Here's the game that I think when I got games in Wario, I didn't care for it because I was too busy playing this. This is, had to be one of my best, one of my favorite games for the Wii U, which is Pikmin 3. This is a must pick up here. This is a must have right here. I, I, like if, you, if you're getting the, the Wii U, definitely go pick up Pikmin. This is good ass game. Good unconventional game, I gotta say. If you're, if you're somebody who just like the shooting wise and that's all you really play, this ain't gonna be a genre for you. This is just something that this gonna take you out of your element if, if you're not used to playing like like a um a strategy based game. So that's that's kind of what it is. But this game's the shit. Like I must say, this is a must buy. Like really, pick up Pikmin if you think about getting a Wii U or you have a Wii U. And you ain't get this yet. You need to go pick it up. Same as um Mario U is this a Wii U. The only thing that's different about this. A lot of people ask. I see a lot of comments on YouTube about it. What's the difference between this and to Mario Bros. U. This between Luigi U and Mario Bros. U. Luigi U, you only got 99 seconds to beat the stage. The game is still very easy. It, it's, it's not even hard at all. But you only got 99 seconds to start. A, like, as soon as the game starts, it already starts off with, with you 99 seconds and you must fly through the stage and beat it in time. You don't get 300 or something seconds that Mario always gave you. No, this shit give you 99 motherfucker seconds. You better be fast and you better be efficient. So this is why I say this game is a little more challenging than than the Mario U, but hey, I still like it. I'm, I'm telling you. And they also and also just, just have like some hidden stages, some more stages, and all the other shit, cause it's um, as you know, it's a DLC. So I got it on disc. How do how to get the hard copy? I don't I don't I don't really do DLC shit. I like hard copies. Um, Rayman Legends. Oh, this is a good ass game. Go cop this. This is definitely a Wii U game. This this shows what the Wii U is about. I don't care what the PS3 and this shit you looking like. This was made for the Wii U. It should have been stayed as Wii U exclusive. This is why I fucking really want to get the fucking Wii U. For this motherfucker right here. Alright. Another game I just got a couple days ago. DuckTales. Again, if you haven't played on PS3 360, a deal saying, hey, it's on, it's on this now, and I got it on this. DuckTales. Old school. DuckTales. Woo! Alright, here it is. Marvel 3D World. Gotta pick that up. And, and I have not yet played this in a couple days, like last like four days. This is Splinter Cell Blacklist. Um, the only thing I still don't like about this game is um, I don't like the voice. They got rid of Michael Michael Ironside, and I'm hearing his voice. I don't like Sam Fisher's voice. He sounds dumb. He sounds annoying. Can't stand him. But that's the only thing. Other than that, this game's actually all right. That's about it, really. All right, all the games I show here. Here is my top five that I would actually tell people to go pick up. And I might do a top six. Let's, let's see here. We get the one, we get the two, we get the three, four. That's four. You know, I'm gonna put this as a double because to me it's, it's a double because it is what it is. All right, and here's the games that I say is a must have for the Wii U. And I'm gonna do it like this. Um, if you didn't get the Wii U, they took the, the, it came with the console, not as not with the console no more. This is a very good party game. Very good, friendly game for the family. Nintendo Land. People sleep on Nintendo Land. This game is actually amazing. You can find, I think, use a GameStop dirt cheap for like probably like ten bucks. But you could actually have fun with Nintendo Land. And I understand it came with the console. They took away now. If you try to get a bundle now, I think you get Mario or um or Zelda. But this is definitely a, a must buy. With a group of fucking friends, a group of fucking whatever, and you want to play this shit, you will get a laugh, a kick. Chist and giggles, like you would really laugh with this game. The game is great. Um, here's a game that I put out, I put up there. I'm gonna say yeah, just because I have mixed, mixed reviews. I'm gonna go hard. I'm gonna play it, but I'm gonna say get it anyway, just because to me it's just like Nintendo Land, but a little bit more eyeball games. A whole lot of more eyeball games versus Nintendo Land. So I think that's what's gonna be the thing. And I see a couple of games that I know I'm gonna like, and I already played one mini game that I know I did like. So I'm gonna say go get. Game of Wario anyway. And here's the, my double my double selection. Which is 
Mario Brothers U and Luigi U. Um, you can either get one or both, or you can just get Mario and you can buy it at the DLC. But either way, I definitely or or if you want to buy the Wii U, get this bundle and then you get both games <laughs> with your bundle. But yeah, most definitely. Um, again, if you're not advanced with Mario, stay away from this. You really gotta be on your A game with this, cause you like I said, you start with 99 seconds. First stage, you're getting like 300 seconds. 99 seconds versus three. And you and you, if you ain't all that good at Mario. I don't know why. You should be like, like a two year old can play Mario and, and be boss at it. So get your get your game up. But most definitely, you gotta get those still. And plus, it's a Mario game. Why not? Another game. Ah, here it is. Rayman Legends. Like I said, this shows with the capable of the power that the Wii U is in the game pad feature. This is a must have, a must have game. This. Fuck the PS3 in, in, in 360 version. The Wii U version was the superior version. I'm telling you it is. I know it is. And everybody said it was, bitch. I know what it is. Alright. And here, Super Mario Bros. 3D World. Gotta go get this game. Great game. Fun game. I just love... This This has to be the best Mario game i played, I want to say, in years, man. I ain't played a good Mario game in years. Like that. I want to say uh, New Mario Bros. Wii. Stuff the game up, bring it back to the, the 2D fashion. But I love the fact that it's 3D world. I like the way how everything is. I like the, all the power ups. This game is truly amazing. Like this is this is one of the games you must have to buy. And my last list on here is Pinkman 3. This this really this this game is amazing. Amazing. I love this game. The way you gotta play, the way you gotta think, the way how you gotta do shit. The game is crazy, incredible. And I gotta cut the camera. I gotta cut it up short because my camera to die. One other game that I do not have and I want to get sometime next week, which is um, is Legend of Zelda: The Wind Waker's um, HD remake or eight or HD uh, remake. Um, I want to get that. That's a game that I say is also a must buy. So if you gotta get a bundle, do not get Skyland unless that's what you're buying for your child. But if you you want to get it, I say me personally. I would say go with the Mario bundle just because you get two games. You get the game and the DLC already on there. And Zelda you can always get. But then I then, then look at the Zelda version to come with the bundle on the Wii on the Wii U gamepad. It actually has a um a Zelda pinstriping on the gamepad. So it's all it's give or take, but I like to say go with the game. If anything, go with games. You know what I mean? Pinstriping and and that collector shit don't mean shit. Gameplay always matter to good Play and beat Mario, uh, Mario U, and then turn around and try to beat Luigi U, and oh man, you gonna be like, this is a whole nother fucking game, a whole nother level. I beat it no problem, cause I'm telling you, I I know how the game works, but but like I said, Mar like like I said, the Wii U has a lot of great games. This I, I still say it has a lot of potential, but I think a lot of people gonna overlook it because of the PS3 and I one is out, and you definitely have to get this that damn game, a console a try, and let it breathe and let it live. Like don't don't. Personally, me, if you go and buy a Wii U, you're buying a Wii U for games like Pinkman, like the Mario's, and even even the weird, goofy games like Games and Wario. You're gonna buy games like this for the Wii U. You're not you're gonna buy only games for that console. That you're not gonna see anywhere else. You're not gonna buy you're not gonna buy Assassin's Creed. You're not gonna buy Batman. You're not gonna buy Resident Evil. You're gonna buy the games just, just for that console. And that's why I'm getting that. This is the Wii U is to me always gonna be a close to base game and console and that's and that's what i like about them they don't care about third party and i and when i buy when i bought my wii u that's mostly what i wanted for anyway because honestly when i get my xbox one i'm not buying no games on no fucking wii u that third party because i don't care but i'm telling you i should have bought batman though anyway it's your man king day what